Divine Spirit, thank you for being in my life and showing me the love you are and the love I am. Thank you for the love coursing through my veins, melting and expanding into each cell of my being. As I feel love, I expand love for others to feel and expand. Thank you, Divine Spirit, and thank you, angels, for helping me to see, feel, and be love. This is Sue Broom of Empowerment for You. Thank you for listening to my prayer. Let's talk a little bit about that prayer because about what was it inspired you about the prayer, to create the prayer? You know, I, I work with divine spirit and the angels and in tandem always. And one of the things that the angels have been, um, I, I do a weekly blog that is channeled and it, it's been a channeled message for about five years now. And one of the things that the angels have been kind of drilling into me and drilling into the messages is they want us to feel the love you know I heard one of the other practitioners talking about that's that's what it is it's all about love and it's absolutely the angels want us to feel their love they want us to feel our own love they want us to feel love and you know one of the things that's coursing through our veins and it's like yes it is that's love and it's pulsing in our bodies and it's in our cells it's in every single nook and cranny of our very being Mm -hmm. they want us to know and feel love beautiful beautifully expressed and and with my angel prayer we get people have an opportunity to take that minute and to hear sue's prayer and just give themselves it's free give yourself a free minute to go in and be held in that love it's a beautiful prayer i love i love everything you've created for my angel prayer you're just just extremely it's just so adept and now i'm gonna have to say sue you've got to explain what started you on this path you know i i've I've been getting that question a lot lately and and really what started it is i was searching i I was searching because i was um, having stomach issues i was having so I was going to see a massage therapist and she was doing Reiki and I, you know, it was my first experience with Reiki and, and she used to talk to the foofs. She would call them the foofs. And it's like, okay. <laughs> but it was the angels and it was the archangels. And I could tell when she was working on me by the tone of her voice, which angel it was that was giving her messages. And it was, you know, right wow. around the same time I was just exploring because it was all kind of melded into the same time frame where, you know, a lot, of, like, like a lot of people, uh, Doreen Virtue was discovered. Um, I listened to a lot of her information, a lot of her, um, she had angel cards and listening to her angel therapy. That's, that's how I started doing angel therapy. It wasn't until a decade later that I got certified as an angel practitioner, angel therapy practitioner. But, and, and it was also years later that, that I um, went and got attuned to Reiki and, and pursued divine coding as a healing modality and was awakened to my own healing. So it was, you know, but that was the start of it was the exploring and, the woman working on me, doing a massage, talking to the foops. <laughs> wow. And it just, and you could, you were in tune enough to be able to distinguish the different energy of the different archangels. That's, wow. I mean, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. What, what would you, what is your life 
like now? What what is your you know what is your work that you're doing? Let's talk about that. Well, I you know I connect with the angels all the time, all the time. My angels and my loved ones. It, it, it's like I'm talking with them like like we're having a conversation, just like you and I are talking. I'm talking to them, and many times it's out loud. I live by myself, so I can. You know, nobody thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and, and so now I, I would love to talk more about, you know, how you were um, inspired to create some of the work that you're, you're sharing, you know, these days. For example, you know, um, oh golly, what are, how, where do we start? How about... Um, how about this? <laughs> How about that? You, you just <laughs> finished that. Didn't you just finished that, Sue? You just finished I did. I did. Okay, this, let's talk about it. It's called The Experience Book, 21 yeah. Days of Beautiful Experiences with the Angels. And it's, it's so interesting to me because, you know, my angel prayer, a minute, can change your day. Yes. Can she, it, it, it only takes a minute. And some of these experiences are very short because the angels, they, they don't want us to have some kind of long drawn out here. You got to, you know, read this and stand on your left foot and, and <laughs> wiggle your right ear while you're pulling your hair. It's like, no, it's like calling all angels. Hey, thank you. Thank you for being here, angels. Or, you know, read through their instructions. And it's, it's not like they have to be followed exactly. It's just a guideline. It's a starting place for so many people because then they can feel, they can experience it for themselves. So this is, this is one, there's so much healing that comes out of, out of the experiences. Can, can you just give us an idea of like, what is, what is one experience and what, is, what, what would one day be or just encapsulate that? Absolutely. I'd like to know. So like, um, one of them is called Experience the Calm. And I should say too, they, there is a mandala for, there's at least one mandala for each of the experiences. But this one, it's like, you know, take a couple of deep breaths, get yourself calm and notice the swirls of energy. And, and everybody experiences the swirls of energy different. And the angels are just asking us to go within. You know, many times they're at, at the start of some of them, they're, they're saying, just notice your breathing. Don't try to change it. Don't try to do anything. Just notice it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even just noticing your breath. I mean, I, could, I can feel a sense of calm coming over me. I know. Just in me saying that. And I felt a shift in your energy as soon as oh, yeah. I noticed. Yes. Yeah. You shifted 100%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, great. Mm -hmm. that's so great it's so so what a wonderful way for people to like just ease into their relationship with their angels where do we find the book you can get it on amazon or on my website either one okay and this amazon and your website is empowerment for you correct yes. is it and the number four it's the number four. And if people forget that, all they have to do is remember my name because suebroom.com will get you there as well. Sue Broom, B R O O M E. -E. <laughs> yes. Sue Broom, empowerment for you. So, Sue, um, you have you've, you've created the book, but you also have this the cards that are so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're magnificent. I mean, they just blow my mind how beautiful they are visually. Talk about how you created the deck. So the Desert Speaks Oracle deck. And this is, this is what the back is. It's a saguaro. saguaro. And it, oh, it's a cactus. It's a cactus. <laughs> so yes, it is, it is truly a cactus. And you can see this, each card started as a picture that I took with my phone. Yes, with my iPhone. <laughs> it was truly a picture. I have all of the pictures to prove it. And when I was taking the pictures, I didn't know that they were gonna be cards. However, they started evolving. Because it's like, you know, I, I know for getting out in nature, 
nature's always talking to us. And all we have to do is pay attention. And I mean, this picture, I absolutely love this because it's like I was walking in the morning, the sun is coming, honest to gosh, it is coming over the top of the swirl and it's just magnificent. And even this looks like a heart. Yes, yes, yes. That's all, that's not Photoshopped in, that's part of the picture, that's part of how it came. This one, I love this one. I love that one. Yeah, wow. Signs from above. It how do we feathers, use... And they're clouds. Yeah, Sue, so how, how do we use the deck? What does that... How you does know, it... You can use the deck. There, there's no right or wrong way. Some people will pull a card. And so if this is the card that I pulled, messages from beyond. Yes. People will, okay... Some people will instantly get a message. Some people will want to meditate on it. Some people can journal with it. Mm -hmm. Have it sitting on your desk and just notice it throughout the day and see what comes up. So it's going to be different for everyone. Now, I do readings with them because, of course, I absolutely love working with them. And some people will pull a card and then flip through the experience book and see how they work together. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So that's a, I mean, what an incredibly creative way to tune in. You know, you have the most beautiful visual and you have a book that has an experience for you. I, I love what you do, Sue. You have uh, online courses is that as well. You, what, what don't you do? I mean, so the online courses, can we talk about those? Because, you know, if we can't make it to Arizona. What, what, how can we be, how can we be learning about what you're doing? So I have two online courses and the, the longer one is called channel writing with mom. And the reason I'm starting with that one is because the, the smaller one is really a piece of the longer one. So channel writing with mom, does not have to be uh, your mom that you're channel writing with, but how it came about is, you know, my mom's been on the, the other side for over 40 years. And one morning I'm walking out to the kitchen and I get, I'm supposed to do this course and it's like, huh? So I, I write a post-it and it's like, okay, yeah. A couple of days later I get the same message and it's like, okay, mom, if you want me to do this, you need me to, you need to give me the, the course. So I sat down and I had a channel writing session. Channel writing is just talking with her, where I sit on the keyboard, just like I channel with the angels. I sit on my keyboard and say, okay, this is my question. Tell me your answer. Mm. And I got the agenda. Mm. So that's the longer course and the memories shared is a piece of it because the memories shared with your loved ones, channel writing might scare some people, but memories, everybody loves the memories that they have with their loved ones. You know, there's, there's always a, a happy memory for some people. Maybe that's all they can remember. But for many people, there's a lot of happy memories. And it's those happy memories that really help heal the grief that uh, people are afraid to feel. Mm, sure. Yeah. yeah. They, the, 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 because the, the, the grieving just throws this, you know, it's this cloak of sadness that, and pain. And then, and so being able to reach back and, find something that's really significant that, and then you then they write about it right I mean you're bringing that experience forward is that right is that how that works the with the the memories yes people yeah. can then they can go into the memory and there's two meditations on the memory shared course that are free for people to download so they can have those forever nice and they can listen over and over mm -hmm. and they can journal about it whether they want to or not, it's up to them and how much they want to journal. And the other thing is they can, you know, they can go in and do the meditation with one loved one 
and the following day, the following week, they can go in and do the same meditation with somebody else. So what an incredible um, reassurance it is to know that you have connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really appreciate that because, you know, death is just, break. and break your heart, you know, Absolutely. break your heart and we can, and, and we don't necessarily, I mean, we don't, it's painful, but we don't need to be suffering about it in the same way because I'm sure, what do your, I mean, the spirits on the other side, our loved ones on the other side, what do they want us to know about the other side? What is it that you've discovered? Love. Uh, you know, it, it really does come back to love. And, and the connection is still there. It, it's never lost. And I think, you know, one of the things that, that I've always known, but it really came through loud and clear when I was working on the channel writing course, is that it, it's not that they go and sit on a cloud and do nothing. You know? They are on their spiritual journey on the other side, just like we are on our spiritual journey. Mm -hmm. And how I discovered that is because it was getting so close to the channel writing course to be, you know, pushed out there. And I, I, it, it was just like I, something was stopping. And it's like, hey, mom, what's going on here? She gave me this absolutely beautiful meditation that totally healing meditation it was total healing coming through and it's like oh wow okay i get it uh, you know this it, it's she has and i'm getting such goosebumps she has evolved and grown so much on the other side it that's not who she was when she was here she's mm. still growing she's still learning and i i truly she truly healing meditation that came through her and where is that healing meditation now where does that live all of all of these is all of my uh easiest way my website you can go to my website to purchase the book to get through amazon to purchase the cards to get the course to read my blog to anything <laughs> empowerment for you yeah. um Stu, i we need to take a second to did we talk about the alexa did we talk about oh no, uh, you've been <laughs> making my alexa go off a lot today <laughs> what 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 <laughs> so you have my angel prayer on your alexa on your echo dot is that what it is it's, yes an echo dot you can kind of see it right there yeah <laughs> Yeah. It. <laughs> <I'm hiding. laughs> and and you can so you all everybody watching please don't forget that you know you don't you go out and get an alexa device because they're a blast i mean it's really really fun <laughs> we have an echo show and then we have beautiful images and we get great music and the oh, speakers nice. are great and of course we have these the prayers that and i we created our to go with those prayers you have a visual but you can also get it on your phone i mean right here on your phone go to myangelprayer.com and we will be able to just go to our website myangelprayer.com and you will be able to get small well, follow step by step what you need to do in order to uh just unload i uh, get the alexa app and then get the my get my angel prayer skill and that's you know pretty easy so um so that's that was our plug thank you thank you all and thank you for like being part of my angel prayer sue we have about five minutes and i really would love for you to what do you want to say what do you want to share you know i i would love for people to remember now I, and i don't know i just i just have to say have you been hearing my chimes go off yes Okay, so I, those are my magical chimes. They're solar chimes. The sun, I have the, the blinds pulled, but they go off when they're supposed to go off. So just so you know, just so you know. They've, and they've been going off a lot since we've been chatting. But, you know, our loved ones want us to know 
that the connection is always there. Our angels want us to know their connection is always there. The thing with, and I've learned this with both our loved ones and the angels, is if we want a sign, if we want a message, ask. You know, one of my favorite sayings is calling all angels. Mm. It's, it's not any easier. I mean, it's not any more difficult than that. Mm -hmm. You don't have to know, the, like I was saying before, you don't have to have some long, long, drawn out, standing on your left foot, pulling your right finger, whatever. It's just calling all angels. If you are, if, if you want to switch and, and get inspired, call on, here, here's something to try people, say calling all angels and then call on your Alexa and call on my angel prayer and see what, it, I'll tell you what, you will just be amazed at what comes up, especially working with them together. If you have, whether it's my deck of cards or someone else's deck of cards, pull a card and then call an Alexa and have a prayer and see how they work together. That's what the angels are doing. That's what our loved ones are doing because we're all connected. I love that. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> we're never alone. You're always loved. It never ends. It doesn't stop. It's, it's all, it's all at, the, at, the core, at the core of it at the core of it and in every piece and just like your beautiful prayer in our veins and yeah. in our in out to the universe oh sue i mean it's always such an incredible pleasure to talk to you and to hear from you and to know what you're doing you're so inspiring thank you so much for being part of my angel prayer uh, please folks my angel prayer, uh, Sue's prayers are so beautiful. I, you just got to hear them. Just got to hear them. My angel prayer on Alexa. So, And I do have to say, Sherry, I absolutely love you. Thank you so <laughs> much for pulling this together. I know you have a lot of behind the scenes going on. I do. John <laughs> helping, your husband is helping. Yes. Karen Palmer is Karen doing Palmer. the program. Yes. It's so thank you all for pulling this together because it's been phenomenal. For more free angel prayers, simply enable my angel prayer on your Alexa. If you don't have an Alexa device, no worries. You can go to myangelprayer.com for easy peasy directions on uploading Alexa and my angel prayer onto your smartphone. My angel prayer. It takes less than a minute to shift your entire day.